Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. I hope everyone who celebrated had a wonderful Halloween. It is actually Halloween right now as I'm doing the voiceover and we have a lot of things planned. Even though we are not going trick-or-treating, we are still going to have somewhat of a Halloween party here at the house. I have chili going right now. We're going to have cornbread and we have a few movies to watch, Hocus Pocus being one of them because it is Missy May's favorite. And I also found a documentary. It's a cartoon documentary, so I thought the kids might like it. It's called Halloween Tree. It's really good, and I'm excited to see what they think of it. We also have all our costumes on. It's not really that much. My kids have a skeleton shirt. My husband and I both have a skeleton hoodie. Yes, we are the skeleton family, <laughs> um, but it's something that we normally always have laying around. We didn't go all out with costumes this year, but uh, we thought we would still have fun with it. Uh, we are also going to be doing kind of like a scavenger hunt. Uh, we're going to hide, once it gets dark, we're going to hide candy and then we're going to have the kids find it with their flashlights. So hopefully their little skeleton shirts glow in the dark and that'll be really fun to watch and listen to them. They love flashlights and anything to do with that type of stuff so I'm really excited. A lovely subscriber reminded me that I used to do these types of videos before where I would give you some real-time sketching and just to see how I hold the pen and uh, how fast I lay down the marks and then I would speed it up in moments uh, when I'm coloring something in or maybe I had already uh, shown how to fill in the leaf so I'm doing it again. I I forgot that I used to do these and I really enjoy uh, flipping back and forth between the two because I think it showcases different things that you wouldn't necessarily pick up if it was all sped up. So anyway, thank you, thank you for reminding me that uh, this is a cool way to do a video. <laughs> um, what I am using is a Keras Custom Copper Pen. The refill that I'm using is actually a Bolograph. I talk about these two uh, companies and materials a lot because honestly it's about every that's about what I use right there um, but I like the Bolograph because uh, it is a drier ink uh, so you don't have it's not as smooth when you apply it uh, however I shouldn't say that because with the heavier weight of the pen it is smooth but you can tell that it's not super wet uh, there's no ball up at the end for the most part. Um, it is, I don't know, it, I can get really light lines like I would with a pencil. I, obviously it's not exactly like a pencil, but I think it's the closest ballpoint pen that I have ever used that, or ballpoint pen ink refill that I've ever used, uh, that acts more like a, a pencil. I hope that is making any sense. Anyway, um... I, I love it, you know that, um, so I am creating my little hash marks and shadows and everything, uh, just kind of like mapping it out before I add my watercolor. Um, I wanted to talk about that watercolor for a minute because I'm really, really excited. I have been, um, been, I have been getting many comments about how uh, the palette, this palette in particular from Letter Sparrow, is sold out uh, and she wasn't going to restock anymore uh, however I have talked to Kelly since then and since she has been getting many requests and I have been getting many requests she has put pre-order up on her website so if you ever did want the palette this is your time to get it um, 
I think that she has a few in stock right now, but she is doing a pre-order and all the information is listed on her website. I can link it in the description box for you, but to be honest, ever since I've gotten this palette, this one in particular, the New Growth palette, I have not used any other watercolor since. So I have talked about this on my channel before, but I'm just having a hard time sketching and painting. Um, you probably don't notice just because that's what you see on my channel, but I am making myself show up. And for the longest time, I thought if I just showed up, then my mindset will change. And it hasn't. I mean, it, it hadn't, I should say. Um, I was talking to someone on Instagram in passing, and they suggested, hey, you like podcasts, right? And I said, yes. And they said, you should totally check out the Stationery Cafe. And I was like, okay, I'll check that out. Um, it turns out that it is hosted by two people. I'm not sure of one of the names, but the other one, is, her name is April. And she had the very first uh, podcast of hers that I listened to, she had interviewed Mitts. Who doesn't love Mitts? Um, it was a wonderful interview, and at the end of that interview, she talked about, April talked about how she had a Facebook group. So I hopped on Facebook, I joined her group, and I went ahead and introduced myself. Hey, I'm Bree, and I showed them um, a spread or two in my journal, and someone commented under that saying, hey, you should totally join the painting meetup. It's this Friday, and I was like, okay, so I did. I hopped on there yesterday, uh, which was two days ago Friday for you, and um, I didn't talk much. I just kind of listened. Uh, we shared a recent spread of ours in our journal um, and then uh, we got to painting. We painted a cute little cupcake Halloween type themed uh, illustration. April walked everyone through what she was doing, how she was doing it. I mean it was it was wonderful. Um, I didn't do exactly what she did. Uh, she didn't care if you were doing the exact same thing or not. It's just It was just about getting together, talking about art, talking about stationery and supplies, and just sharing that, like, you know, general love for, for stationery. And after I got off, I felt a little uncomfortable, um, just because I feel uncomfortable doing new things. But again, I wanted to show up. I wanted to put myself out there. And um, after I settled down a little bit and just thought about it, I was like, wow, that was actually really, really fun. I had such a good time. And um, I realized that I haven't been, yes, I've been showing up, but I really haven't been pushing myself. So after having that meetup, after doing some reflecting, I just thought, man, I feel really good. 
I feel really inspired by people that were so kind to me to um, let me in on this little meetup secret um, that are completely different than me. May them be a different age or a different style of artist or journaler. Um, it was just so inspiring and I, I loved every minute of it and I'm so grateful to April and to all those uh, people that were in that meeting and um, were just, I don't know, enjoying themselves and having a good time as well. So with that, I will make sure to include April from the Stationery Cafe, that Instagram, uh, in the description box for you. Well, I am going to wrap this up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being subscribed. Thank you for always commenting. Um, I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys, if you celebrate, have a wonder had a wonderful Halloween. I'm going to go find my kiddos and my husband. They went outside. It's beautiful out. Um, I'm also excited for tomorrow because it's my husband and I's 12th anniversary. Um, yeah, uh, we don't normally do anything. We're probably not going to really celebrate it, obviously. I mean, there's a pandemic, but <laughs> um, maybe we'll order food or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited, and um, I cannot believe I've been married that long. I can't believe I'm as old as I am. Sometimes I shock myself when I actually do the math and realize that I'm going to be almost 40. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend or had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. So, oh, and if you know, if you want to see any other content from me, I'm always over there on Instagram trying to post all the things. So until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.